Hello and welcome to episode 59 of our game dev tutorials. Uh, this will be the fifth installment of our simple loot system. Today we're going to be dealing with moving items from slot to slot. So it's that drag and dropping of <clears throat> individual items. Uh, before we get started, I do want to remind you guys to, you know, like, subscribe, share, you know, all the things. Um, really does help out and it means a lot to me slash us here um yeah all right so first thing we're going to do is we are going to add uh a inventory slot to inventory item and you'll see why but it deals with being able to work in both directions so slots will have items and items will have slots and then you can see in both directions depending on which one you're looking at you can get all the information at the same time um, there's other ways to do it, but that's that's the way I kind of like to do it. Okay, so after that we are going to deal with adding the drop detection to drag and drop packets. We are going to add hit detection code to the slot uh, when the drag is dropped. The drag and drop item is dropped, I guess you should say. Um, and then we are going to add the transfer code and then we're, we're going to test it. So, uh, that being said, um, first things first, inventory item, we're going to add a slot to it. So inventory slot, slot, and this should be public for now. Okay, very simple. Um, and then you can just say slot equals null for now. Uh, now, one thing we have to do is we have to, we have to load that slot. Um, unit oh good we have to load that slot with the uh, slot that the item is going in so uh, let's create a temp slot real fast or temp item real fast to, to hold this so um, inventory item temp item equals and it's this thing here Cool beans, uh, and then we're going to say temp item dot slot equals inventory slot i, and then this is now temp item. So because we've done that, we now can see both directions. The slot can see the item, and the item can see the slot. Uh, you'll see why that's important a little bit later um, in this process. Um, so the next thing that we need to do is our drag and drop packet. Uh, we need to add some hit detection to this. So uh, it's it's pretty simple stuff to be honest. Um, we're literally just looking for a. Uh, hold on, I don't like that spot. We'll go here. It's nice alphabetical. Public virtual void uh, is dropped. And it's super simple. It's just asking to see if if uh, the mouse has been released. And you might say, but we're doing that right there. Yeah, but this is called at the very end of the frame. And this can be called in the middle of the frame. And once we call this, it's all null. So we can't check it in two different spots. So we need another function. Very simple. It's not void. It's bool because we're returning true or false. So if it's released, then we say uh, return true. If not, we return false. Very simple. This will get us where we're going on finding out if something is dropped. OK. Um, from here, we need to use this, essentially. And where we're going to use that is in slot. So if we go to slot, um, we are going to, in update, check to see if something is being dropped on it. And how do we do that? Well, that's a great question. First off, we need to check to see that the drag and drop packet is not null. So there's something in the drag and drop packet. Drag and drop uh, equals not equal null, sorry. 
Okay. So now we know there's something in the drag and drop packet. So now what do we need to know? Well, we need to know that it's an inventory item. So globals dot drag and drop packet dot type equals in, and you know what? I'm gonna just copy paste this. I don't want to screw it up. It's the type inside inventory item. So let's not mess that up. We'll copy paste. Uh, and globals dot uh, drag and drop packet dot is dropped. Okay, so we know that there's something in the packet. Then we know that there's an inventory item in the packet. And now we know that it's been dropped. So the last thing we need to know is, is it dropped on this slot? So is hover offset. So basically, is our mouse over the slot when all of this is happening? If so, we need to call the transfer function, which we don't have. So let's start talking about that. It's where actually the meat of this is at. It's not a very long function, but it is where the magic happens. So uh, virtual void transfer trans transfer item. Sorry, brain not working. Okay, and then what we're gonna want in here is we're gonna want an inventory item. So let's let's ask for that. Let's say in inventory item item. All right, we'll go through this in a second, but we do want to error check that item was not equal to null. It's not gonna be possible right now in our code, but this is helpful for making a transfer, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so here we want to call this cal. Oops, my fingers are off. There we go. Um, and we are going to pass in the item that's in drag and drop packet. And we got to cast it because that's an object. So inventory item. So good. Now we've called it just so you guys can see what that is. Inside inventory item, if you remember in the last tutorial, we have object item, it can hold anything. We have to cast that to an inventory item. We set that with the set item. And then that also sets the type, which is what we're pulling. We're pulling all of that here, okay? So we pass it in here. So now what is the logic for swapping out an item from a slot and then a slot from an item? Because you're gonna have the original slot and you're gonna have the uh, current slot we're looking at because we're in slot that's what's being dropped on we're looking we need to look at the item and the slot that's coming in and deal with the item and the slot that we currently have so we have two sets of data potentially some of them can be null and we'll cover those bases so first things first let's make sure we save our old slot because we are going to make this item have the current slot that we're in so we need to save that data so that we can pass the other item to it if there is another item so inventory slot temp or old I'm sorry old slot equals item dot slot okay so what is this doing this is save the old slot of the incoming item to a variable okay so that's what that's doing I'm gonna label all of these because uh, as your item system becomes more complicated, you're gonna need to do more in here. We're just basically do, doing a very basic drag and drop, but it won't account for um, stackable items. It won't account for items with sockets in them. It won't account for lots of different things. So this function will become more complicated. Since we know we're gonna be editing it, we might as well comment a bit as well. <clears throat> okay, sorry, I have a hair in my throat. And it's getting me pretty good. Okay, um, next thing we want to do is we want to save the item from the slot we're looking at right now. Uh, and that way we've saved both the other pieces of data, so now we can, then we will be able to deal with the current slot and the item coming in, which is, which is the first transfer we're going to do. Okay, so uh, this is inventory item current item equals item. So that is the item right here. If there is an item in this slot, we are saving it. 
so let's comment this. So save the current item of this slot to be to a variable. Okay, good deal. Now we're gonna do our first transfer. So we are going to set the item dot slot equal to this. Um, we know the item's not null because we already checked. So we can do this safely. Item equals item. So now we've set this item to the incoming item. So this will be set this slot item to the incoming item. Okay. Next, we have to deal with getting this item into this slot. And it's not so simple as just calling this. We do have to protect it. We don't know if any of these are null. And we don't want to have to worry about it. So first thing we do is we say uh, the current item Oops, current item not equal null. So notice I did the item first. So we're going to do the item first. So then current item uh, dot slot equals old slot. Okay, now why do I need not why do I not need to check for old slot being null? Well, because it's okay for this to be null. Slot can be null. That just means that there's it's not in anything, and it's essentially going to get discarded. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing, protecting uh, old slot. So if old slot not equal null, then old slot dot item equals current item. So then same thing here. This can be set to null. So if this is null, it's fine. So this should work just fine. Uh, let's just put one more comment in and say, set the old slot, if it's not null, to having the other slash current item. OK. So now we're nice and comped it up. Uh, and hopefully you guys will be able to get through this and edit it when you need to for your item systems. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a test. And bring this guy over. And let's get an item to drop real fast. Hopefully sooner rather than later. There we go. All right, we have an item. So we're gonna grab it. We were able to do this last time. Drop it. Notice it moved. So you're able to drop this anywhere you want. If you drop it out here, it doesn't matter. Doesn't do anything. But if you drop it on another slot, it moves around. And that was the goal, right? So that is what we're doing. You can do lots of things. You can gray this out as it's transferring. You can do whatever you want, add a sound to it. We've done all that in different tutorials. So uh, you should be able to do whatever you want to make that feel better. Having a tactile sound would be nice. Um, some indicator that that thing is being dragged is a good thing. You can do that in Dragon, uh, Drag 2D or Draggable 2D. Um, you can do lots of little edits to make this better. But this is the basic uh, format for dragging and dropping. This is super simple, but believe it or not, this was like my fifth or sixth version of dragging and dropping before I came to this simple of a system. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I hope it helps. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, subscribe, comment, do the whole thing. Uh, it really does help. You know, if you have a friend that's into game dev or thinks they maybe want to kind of try some game dev, you know, shoot them my my uh, links and and we'll hopefully they'll they'll be able to to decide whether they actually like it or not. Um, so this is episode 59. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do next, but I will uh, I will uh, think about it a little bit. Either we'll do something completely new or we'll do um like character inventory like equipment um if that's what you want to see please let me know um in the comments if not you know feel free to shoot some ideas i don't know that i'll be picking from those ideas but i better to have ideas than not um but yeah 
59 episodes in, guys. It's kind of a big deal. Thank y'all. Hope you guys have a great day. See you guys later.